it's important to have a footer. It's important to, a footer is made uh, for the user to find itself wherever he is on the website. The, the user needs to, to, to see contact information. You want that to be on, mo on all the pages. That's number one. You want it to be, you, you can have a contact form, you can have, um, most of the time you see on footers, uh, they have uh, the same menu, okay? Uh, it's sort of a guide to to show you, okay, where you are, where you can be, um, how to find me. Uh, basically, that's 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 what you want to f to show the user. You want to show. You want to. It's sort of a. It's sort of. Oh, are you lost? Then go down and click wherever you want to be. Okay. Um, having an email address is extremely important. Phone numbers. Um, also. I know I wrote down that footer should contain also copyright information such as copyright 2013, Christopher Murray, web design, all rights reserved, uh, something like that, you know, nothing, uh, it's always good to have it, um, you know, just to protect your, your rights of ownership. Now, also, again, remember, footers should have menus, if not a contact, contact information form, um, Basically, anything to lead the user to either contact you or to find itself throughout uh, one of the pages. That's basically it. Okay. Um, I put three things, but these these are the three main things that you need to put on your footer. Uh, links to your pages, like I said before. Social links are extremely, extremely important. I forgot to mention that uh, before, but they are extremely important. Uh, and a contact form or an email address. Uh, with a phone number so that they can reach you uh, and basically that is 